hello again in this short video I'm going to show you how to put a tire on a car with an air impact wrench I know it's not, it looks easy when the mechanic does it but you know what a lot of them don't do it right okay to do it proper and this is with any nut and bolt and what have you you put these on by hand and give it several turns at least three, maybe four, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, this will prevent them from cross threading. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't hurt to give it extra, it will hurt not to give it enough. You only cross thread these once before you have to replace the whole thing. You know, now that they're all on there, grab your air tool, fit that on there. Watch what I'm doing, watch the pattern. Okay. I'm going one, two, three, four, five. Kind of, uh, if you have four, you would go one, two, three, four. You kind of want to cross off each other so that it tightens them evenly. And uh, I'm just popping them on there the first time, like watch. Okay. Like that, not, not real hard. Okay, now I'm going to start over. And that helps do several things. That, that's really, really watching what you're doing. I don't sit there and go like I'm some kind of a maniac. Just and that's it. Because if you do it like that, you will not only not cross thread your bolts or your nuts, but you will also prevent from warping the brake drum or disc because if they're wore down pretty good from years of hitting the brakes if you're not careful how you do this you can warp a brake drum okay this should also make it possible for a normal human being to take the wheel off if you should have a flat tire on the side of the road well that's all thank you for watching